Hey guys, it's uh, Memorial Day, it's Monday. We're actually heading out in the woods. We're gonna test out a couple, I got a new uh, hammock. So we're gonna test that out, t test out a couple different uh, tarp setups for on top of it. Just try to take a nap. Let's relax for today. Enjoy the outdoors. Right, Bill. Where should we camp? Find a couple good trees out here. All right. The grand trunk is an ultralight skeeter beater hammock. I like having the netting Get the bugs off me. Comes with these ropes to go around the trees. Just take them. Wrap them around. I've got this set up. I actually replaced, I had S hooks on, on the engine here. I took some of my climbing carabiners, put those on. Just clip it right on there. It's got a built in pocket that stores the whole thing. Which is nice, and you put your glasses and different things in it. Now, with the Skeeter beer, the Grand, Spur, with the Grand Trunk, it's got the netting on the back side. You can either flip it upside down, have one without the netting. Bug netting, that is. Or you can flip it over and then uh, lift up your netting. Get this adjusted here. And they also send this uh, shock cord with it for the netting. We have little loops on here. Go through the loops. Let's go around the tree. And there's actually four loops, so then you go back through the loops again. And they send two pieces of shock cord. I haven't had to use those unless I'm really spread out. One's been enough. Bring it back to the tree here. And just tie it off like a bow knot or something. Whatever you feel like doing. It's nice with this setup, you can raise and lower it real easy. Holds the netting up. I actually like to keep the cable downable for my other strap so that way when I get in it, it hangs pretty nice. We'll work on the top, the tarp on top of it, and get back with you. Hey guys, here's a closer look at that hammock. I take the shock cord here, and I keep it about level with my uh, straps, whatever these are called. And then I, like I said before, I replaced them with my climbing carabiners. They had little S hooks. They're actually heavier than my carabiners, so I switched to the aluminum lightweight carabiners. It's hooked in, and actually the shock cord comes. It's got four of these little tie outs, which are elastic too, they're stretchy. So when you sit in it, it'll move and it holds it up real nice. A tick there. Um, comes with a little pocket here. Uh, it fits. It fits my glasses or a flashlight or whatever you want to fit in there. And then it's got, like I said, it's got four of those, so it holds it and kind of spreads it out. It gives you kind of a double ridge line here. You can't really use this for a ridge line for your tarp. I'll either have to set one of those up. That's some stuff I'm going to experiment with today. And this side I just ran both uh, both through and I just got a little knot on it. So that's it. There's uh, This is the pocket that stores in it. This works for keeping your wallet, uh, whatever stuff you want right on hand so you don't have to get out of your hammock at night or something, your flashlight. There's a wind blowing it around. And there's also a second pocket on this side. So there's actually a pocket on either side, this little one in the mesh, which comes in handy. Especially, like I said, if you wear glasses, you want to keep a flashlight in there. So. That's the hammock setup so so far. Like I said, we're going to experiment with some uh, different tarp setups and see what works the best and what's the fastest to set up. So I'll get back with you in a minute. Alright, here's my setup that I've come up with so far. I actually just got a ridge line tied right off to my carabiner. 
goes through. Wraps around that carabiner. And back to a pressic knot. That way I can tighten it or loosen it. Works pretty good. The tarp that I'm using today is actually a three-person uh, tent ground cloth. So it's not really made for a, for a top tarp or whatever you want to call it, uh, for hammock camping. But it's what I got for now, so I'm going to use it. It could be actually a little bigger. This is like a 9 by, I guess a 9 by 7. Nice to have a 9 by 9. would probably be ideal size. I'll play around with it. I might even get some material and make one or something. Kind of like Cable Guy Ken does. But uh, so that's the setup for tonight, or for nap time, anyway. Keep all the all the rain off you. When I'm laying in it, I can still see out, you know, kind of so draped down my head. I can still see out through here, which is kind of nice. It would keep the water from hitting on top if it was raining, but if it was a downpour or something, I think I'd probably get a little wet with this small of a tarp. But setup-wise, it's pretty quick. Like I said, these shock cord cables kind of kind of give it like a triple ridge line. I got the paracord ridge line here and there's a you know a shock cord here and here for the netting so it kind of makes a nice wide ridge line in there it makes it feel pretty roomy but it would be nice to have a bigger tarp so you wouldn't have to be in your hammock all the time so you could cook under here and stuff and have more space so we'll have to play around with that a little bit so we'll get that set up and enjoy the afternoon everybody have a good memorial day <laughs>